Here is a second order nonlinear differential equation that looks quite fascinating. But what exactly should be our approach in solving it? Well, when you have structures like these, a substitution can actually make your life much easier. I'm talking about letting the first derivative of y with respect to x be equal to some other variable u. Now, this has the benefit of transforming the second derivative, d square y by dx squared, which is going to be equal to du by dx. And now you can write du by dx as du by dy times dy by dx, correct? And this dy by dx term is just your variable u, correct? So you can write this as u times du by dy. So this is how the second derivative transforms. And this and the benefit of this transformation is that your problem of a second order differential equation is now one of a first order differential equation. Also notice on the right hand side of the equation, you had y prime plus the square of y prime, which transform under your substitution into u plus u squared. So yeah, the structure of the differential equation at hand is simplified considerably. So you can write this now as u times du by dy times 1 minus y, and this is being equal to y prime, which is just u and 1 plus u. And you can divide both sides by u so you have some cancellation and you now have a, oh, sorry about that. This is du by dy times one minus y being equal to one plus u, which is in fact a separable differential equation. So you can write this now as du by one plus u equal to dy by one minus y. Now integrating, this gives us the natural log of 1 plus u, and you're going to need a couple of negative signs here, and this is equal to the negative of the natural log of 1 minus y, plus, now I'm going to introduce the constant of integration in a logarithmic form, so the natural log of some constant a. So this implies that the natural log of 1 plus u equals the natural log of a divided by 1 minus y using the laws of the logarithm. So this implies that 1 plus u equals a by 1 minus y. And now we can solve for u by just subtracting one on both sides, which gives you u being equal to um, 1 over there, a minus 1 plus y divided by 1 minus y. And a minus 1 is just a, it's just another constant. So let's write this as b. So b plus y by 1 minus y. So this is the variable u, which in fact we set equal to the derivative of y with respect to x. So this equals b plus y divided by 1 minus y. And this is another separable differential equation. So you see, we started off with a nonlinear second order differential equation. And now we're just doing problems, successive problems on separable differential equations. So we can write this as 1 minus y divided by y plus b dy being equal to dx and integrating this gives us um, the integral of 1 by y plus b dy minus the integral of y by y plus b dy equal to x plus some other constant, let's call it c. So this implies that the natural log of y plus b, sorry about that, y plus b minus um, how are you going to integrate this? Well, very simple. We can just add a zero. So add a b and subtract a b upstairs. So you have y, you had y, then you added b and subtracted b. So this gave you the integral of one with respect to y 
uh, plus sine b times the integral of dy by y plus b. This equals x plus c. So you have the natural log of y plus b minus y plus b times the natural log of y plus b. And collecting these terms together, I can write them, I can factor out the natural log of y plus b, correct? And I'll be left with a 1 plus b term. And all this equals x plus the other constant c. Now, I'm going to try and write this as nicely as possible, so... Why not transfer this to the right hand side and I'm going to have to divide by 1 plus b anyway. So the natural log of y plus b equals x plus y plus c divided by 1 plus b. And then using the exponential function, I can write this as y plus b being equal to e to the x plus y plus c divided by 1 plus b. Now, I'm going to try and separate the x uh, from uh, the x, the y term from the other terms. So, e to the x plus c by 1 plus b times e to the y by 1 plus b equals y plus b. And this implies that y plus b times e to the negative y by 1 plus b equals e to the x by 1 plus b times e to the c by 1 plus b, where this is just another constant that we can write as k. And that seems adequate. So that was a fascinating differential equation. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.